We got the like goal and as such we'll be continuing today our Brandenburg campaign where we will be making this nation one of the most strongest nations you've ever seen in an EU4 campaign. Currently we have most of the eastern parts of the German Empire as well as the uh, Franconian bits which we got in order to do our mission. The Franconian conquest as reward for this we have a permanent 25 power projection the victory in Franconia until the end of the campaign which pretty much in ensures that we're gonna have above 50 power projection till the end of the campaign and as such we get the plus one extra mana points for all three of the mana categories until the very end of this run that did imply that we had to expand very fast as such we've made a little bit of a coalition we pissed off people around however we are improving with these nations and hopefully we'll be able to get a few of them out of the coalition and as such we're gonna encourage the rest of them to just you know dissipate the coalition it's time for everybody to go home stop being angry and let us do what we do best which is today most importantly we'll be conquering eastern europe and we'll be making it our little um uh, how do i put this uh kindly um expansion area i'm gonna i'm gonna call it expansion area now of course we are the hre emperor and we have pretty much everybody else voting for us except bohemia which hates our guts because we've uh, kind of took half of their country but let that uh, not fool you we're gonna take the rest of their country soon as well <laughs> we need the two provinces in silesia and i kind of would like to get the kevin rudohori especially since Rudohori is a glass province and maybe we can spawn faceting unless it was already spawned in Constantinople which it was not so we still have a chance here let me check the other usual suspect Antwerpen it didn't spawn Siena it didn't spawn so I I might uh, be able to get it over in uh my main point of expansion however is going to be uh the Teutonic Quarter which has cores all over the area which we want to feed them back we've uh rivaled our former ally of Poland and they are our main enemy right now once we vassalize the Teutonic Order. We're going to be attacking Poland. That's why I recruited extra units. We can have up to 73,000 manpower and our max force limit is 55 so we can still recruit quite a little bit. We also started building up a fleet. We're going to have essentially a trade fleet since we will be switching our trade capital to the Lubeck node and we need to get some more trade power in there. Right now we have 3% which is absolutely pathetic. Let's face it. Now guys if we do get 6,900 likes on this video in the first week after it's out I'm going to do the final part of the campaign campaign where we're gonna attempt to make the entirety of Europe um, a part of the HRE let's say right sadly our amazing 553 air died a couple of years ago but we got a semi average air which is actually called the same as the previous guy but yeah he's uh, he's not our favorite our favorite unfortunately had a little bit of an axe let me see how I can get some more nations out of the coalition against me so I think Lunenburg was it is at 45 so I need more relations with them but I have already 94 well actually technically I can just get now i think 50 right if i just improve for a couple more months lunaberg might be the one we need in order to get everybody out of the coalition against us afterwards let's see right all right now they are at 50 so can you stop being outraged towards me please i love you don't make me restart the game i don't want to restart the game there you go they're not outraged anymore so i'm gonna get an alliance boom that means they're not in the coalition anymore automatically and i'm gonna cancel the alliance after one month because i don't actually want to have an alliance with them i just did it so i can get them out of the coalition come on there you go. Arrivederci. Don't need that alliance. Thank you very much. I'm going to do the same to everybody else that is in the coalition that is easy to get out in a similar fashion. Maybe Munster might be around there. Uh, we can improve with them above 50. Yes. Okay. So Munster, we're going to be able to get out of the coalition in a similar fashion. How about uh, Munich? No. Munich hates our guts. How about Regensburg? Regensburg, we might be able to get uh, 50 without having to do any issues. Baden, we're improving with already. Uh, Goslar, we need to improve with, of course. And that should be about it, I think. Thing. Truth is, I'm not going to be expanding into the HRE anymore, so I'm not really worried about the expansion of the HRE. I'm almost exclusively going to be expanding into the east, because I just want to see how quickly we can expand this Brandenburg into the east, if we have that as our main goal set, right? I'm essentially going to be the most uh, not schnippeldorp giving emperor ever. That's that's exactly what I'm going to be. These fuckers allied Hungary? What? Bro. Oh, that sucks. And we got rebels. Okay, let's fight the rebels off quick. Alright, in that case, we're going to need more units if we have to fight the hungarians as well hungarians have oh oh the hungarians got attacked by the poles and the ottomans so they have nothing okay in that case hungary might not be so difficult to, to peace out quickly let's recruit even more units in the southern bits there so we have two proper main armies fighting for us and bohemia just joined the coalition against us you know what let me attack uh teutons before they also join a coalition against me they cannot join a coalition against me. wait what they love me what can i diplo vassalize them <gasps> i might be able to diplo vassalize 
vassalize them. Oh, okay. Well, that's maybe the better option in that case. Diplomatically expand into the east. I like that. I actually like that. All right, the biggest issue we have with Diplo vassalizing them now that we've allied them is the trust. So we're going to be currying favors with them. And the reality is that because uh, we are so much stronger than the Teutons are, we're going to be getting a lot of favors per month. Look at that. We're getting one favor per month. That is freaking ridiculous. Then afterwards, we can trade favors for trust. And once we have enough trust, we can just Diplo vassalize them without any sort of an issue. Win-win. There you go. Munster also just left the coalition. We can stop improving with them. Let me also recruit more ships. And let's send these bad boy ships that we have to protect trade in our node. Boy, you guys are really stubborn. You actually don't want to leave the coalition, do you, you scumbags? <laughs> can you just please bugger off, man? I want to do stuff here and I cannot because of your stupid little coalition. More truces over with more nations. Um, okay, hopefully these guys will not join the coalition against us. Hesse could actually because they got minus 52 uh, aggressive expansion relation with us. Rothenberg too. Okay, they did join the coalition. Oh, that is not great. That is actually not great. Is my alliance set really that bad? Do I need to get beg better, bigger allies or what? Maybe I'll get Muscovy as an ally because I can use them against the Poles as well. Yeah, I feel like that might be the play here. All right, screw it. Let's get the Muscovites as an ally. We're a little bit over our Diplo relations, but it's fine. We'll cancel some alliances as we progress in the campaign, I guess. Also, can someone explain to me how Granada managed to get the southern bits of Portugal and they are alive and guaranteed by Marrakesh? What? Uh, This has to be one of the most cursed situation I've seen in uh, Iberia and North Africa in quite some time here. <laughs> All right, what else we have here? Syria is still alive. They are not integrated by the Mamluks yet. Akoyunlu also still alive. That does happen a lot more than I, uh, I've i seen it happen in the past though. And Genoa conquered Trebizond. That is very unique. I've not seen that in a really long time. Georgia is still alive. The Great Horde annexed all the other hordes. So I guess they really are the Great Horde, eh? <laughs> Yep, yep, I, I have all the dad jokes with. Just realized I also need to get the relations with um, these bad boys. Also, we got the last uh, jousting tournament, so that's awesome. It means that now we have 43 army tradition, and it's only lowering at 0 0.17 yearly, which is a big, big deal in my opinion. But yeah, we need 190 relations with these guys, which we can do by just improving relations, giving a gift, and a few other things here that we could potentially get done. I did earlier not accept the uh, Teutons in my uh, HRE because I don't want to get extra aggressive expansion for having um, taken HRE provinces, but because they're going to be my vassal, that's not going to be an issue anymore. All right, we can also get a claim on uh, the, the Poles, maybe just so maybe we can actually um, get some provinces from them in a quick war. They've got what? They got 23,000 with another 27,000. Can everybody stop joining freaking coalitions against me? Thank you very much. What the hell, people? Autumn is... Okay, everybody freaking rivaled me. That is not good. That is really not good. These guys seem to like me, though. They really seem to like ally to French rival Burgundy and Muscovy. How are you people ally to the Muscovites, man? What? Come on, France. Brother. Just like you need a strategy when playing Brandenburg in U4, it's becoming increasingly needed to have a strategy when reading the news these days in order to get all sides of a story. That's why I love Ground News so much, a website and app developed by a former NASA engineer on a mission to give readers an easy, data-driven, objective way to read the news. Every story comes with a quick visual breakdown of the political bias of factuality and ownership of the source reporting, all backed by ratings from three independent news monitoring organizations. Take for example this article on more than 300 people arrested on New Year's Eve in Berlin, Germany as people shot firework at police. Over 67 sources reported on this, 44% of whom lean right and 32% lean left. Furthermore, as you scroll down you can see who owns each outlet and you'll know Notice 43% are owned by media conglomerates. This is all not easily understood otherwise, but ground news makes it possible. Why does it matter that we know who owns a media outlet? The individual conglomerate or family that outright own or have majority stakes in the newspaper or broadcaster influence the reporting style and war choice in each piece. Some of these headlines focus on a decrease or less violence reported than in previous.
previous years in Berlin, while other headlines purposefully choose the words riots and chaos or simply focus on the hundreds of people arrested. Ground News also has a blind spot feed which highlights stories that are disproportionately covered by one side of the political spectrum, and maybe we can even challenge some of our own assumptions. In fact, Ground News is giving Eludiad Historia viewers 30% off their vantage plan. This includes access to a feature called My News Bias, which is basically a dashboard for your news diet. Sign up to see how your reading habits change over the next week. What are your top sources? Are you engaging with diverse perspectives? What are your favorite topics? Go to groundnews.com slash historia or click the link in the description to get started for under $6 a month and support an independent news platform working to make the media landscape more transparent. This is so freaking unfair right now. Look at this. They have only 44 aggressive expansion, right? And they're still in the coalition and they're not leaving. Like, it's, it's not cool man what i did in the past was bad but it's a long time ago and i feel like uh, me not expanding for freaking seven years is punishment enough if you ask me okay just saying it how it is holy shit one stability hell yeah don't mind if i do and increased recruitment event what the fuck brother what the actual f it's rigged everybody it's clearly rigged let me just go ahead and add some more manpower <laughs> Oh, okay. That is an issue there. I don't want to lose my army tradition. So I guess I just have to lose the loyal. We already were struggling with the clergy. That is not great there at all. Looks like we have to pay for these troops so we can actually wipe out the rebels. Come back. And Prignitz also has some rebels, apparently. We're going to use our mercenary company here, though, to wipe those guys out. You know what? I'm actually going to sell some of my titles. Why am I doing that? Because I also want to get the loyalty for the clergy, but not only because of that. It's also because I want to build up some workshops and some barracks. We really want want to have as much manpower and economy as possible to fight off our enemies in the nearby future right yeah that's not bad we got like how many five six freaking workshops or some snap pose none more like future east schleswig right yeah definitely we're gonna call that province east schleswig if you ask me. hey look at that we got all the innovativeness and and health in the coalition against us awesome freaking awesome bro all right well it is what it is unfortunately okay another one that means we got production efficiency bonus for the next 12 years or something what are we gonna go for as our secondary national idea though that's the real question because we're gonna be expanding into the east i'm gonna go for admin idea so it's cheaper for me to core up all the provinces that i'm gonna be expanding into right and let me check if i I'm able to uh, diplo vassalize these guys now. We can trade 30. That means 15 trust. And that means we can. They will accept now. Uh, they don't have the trust debuff of minus 30 with us anymore. So it's just a matter of getting the relations now. Let's go ahead and get uh, military access and everything. In that case, there you go. Offer military access gives another 10. Then also we can get some more from some gifts. We're going to send them. We have Shnokos, another 25. And maybe even Emperor Action. Those are not Emperor Action. Uh, great power. We're not a great power? What? How are we not a great power, bro? Wow, that is so disappointing. Finally, somebody left the coalition against us. Thank you, Bremen. Awesome, awesome, Chad. I love you, Bremen. We love Bremenians over in uh, Brandenburg lands. Proclaim guarantee another 10, of course. We can also scornfully insult their rivals. Sadly, they do not have any rivals right now. So we just gotta wait until they get the uh, rejected us from the empire, from joining the empire debuff lowered a little bit more. That's pretty much all we can do. I got some claims on Poland, so I think I'm gonna attack them now. I'm gonna say Poznan is the main war target and I'm gonna call in Burgundy, Köln, and Trier, the only allies that I can apparently call in right now. Denmark's got a truce with the Poles apparently so um yeah they wouldn't join. Well it is what it is. Let's go. I'm not gonna push for, for the lands of the Poles yet. I'm actually gonna push for their allies first in Anhalt and who else was it in the alliance? Anhalt, Telje, and Gotland. Yeah okay. So I'm actually gonna push for the Poles and I'm gonna send my secondary army to fight off uh, in Anhalt and my third army as well to fight off in Anhalt. That should be enough. Get him out of the war. Then we can send one of them to fight off Atelier. And then we can actually focus 100% of our efforts on the Polish front. Obviously, because we have very little aggressive expansion now. And because this is Polish provinces, it's uh, not in the HRE. It's less aggressive expansion with the uh, nations that already hate us. So we could potentially take all four of these provinces now. And only a few nations would actually be angry about it. Just a few, not many. Just, just a few. <laughs> yep, I am aware. I am aware that um, I may have been a little bit too 
2 expansion as to the early part of the campaign. We're really paying for it, okay? We've been paying it for it way too much, if you ask me. Oh, hey, Burgundy's here. Hell yeah, man. Love to see good old Burgundy helping out a friendo. And by friendo, I mean this guy. All right, we got Anhalt. Let's go Fatalia now. Can we actually white piece them? I don't mind just doing white piece. No, they're actually nasty. So in that case, I'm going to be asking them to cancel their alliance with the Poles. And not money, but I will be asking for some trade power and war reps. Why not? Now, I'm also going to be building the fortification in Leignitz. This is one of my favorite forts to build as the Brandenburgians because uh, it protects so many provinces. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces are protected, which is really great. Not only that, but it's a really well defended fort because it got minus one dice roll for attackers since it is a highland and defensiveness plus 10%. So it takes longer for the enemy to actually siege it down. All right, we got the war target. So we're going to get the passive war score. Let's go for Plok up next. We also got 21% on Anhalt. So that's about to fall any moment now. Uh, what was I going to say? Poland. And that's it. No more alliance set. Cancel. Maybe some money. Why not? If we're over here, might as well, right? Let's also get back our diplomat from Poland. I do need the spy network, but I also need to improve relations with other nations more than I need the spy network. There you go. 148, 132. Delicious. Now let's use that same diplomat to improve with who else hates our guts here? Um, Rothenburg. Yep. Let's improve with Rothenburg. Why is it called Rothenburg? Is it because people there are rotten? Eh? eh? Rottenburg? Get it? That's exactly why it's called that, in case you're wondering. That's, that's exactly why. Oh, it is a Jover, boys. It is a Jover. Ohm just left the coalition against us. That is it. With Ohm out, we don't even need to worry about anybody else in this, man. Like, Ohm was the one reason why I was actually worried about the, you know, having to fight a coalition. But now that they're out, what's even the point of worrying about these things anymore, really? Okay, we're doing pretty good progress here. We've uh, basically wrecked the freaking Polish army. And by we, I really mean Burgundy that did most of the heavy lifting, which is why if I do get money from them it's mostly going to burgundy so i'm not gonna give them any money in fact i'm um uh, i'm gonna get everything except for money to be more precise all right rothenberg is out as well so let's see who else is still in probably not that many we could probably get these guys out by proclaim guaranteeing which is gonna reset them now they're friendly towards us there you go they left the coalition and that should tip the balance and everybody starts leaving right right guys everybody can you all just bugger off please all right we're very close to having massive success in this campaign into Poland, sadly, because I do still have quite a little bit of a, a I don't know what exactly I'm going to take from them. I did say initially I want to take this, but if I do, it is going to piss off people, man. I mean, clearly I'm going to take at least this, but I was hoping to take more. Thinking now to take that and to cancel the um, the vassalage that they have over Danzig. This is going to prevent them from integrating them. I feel like that might actually be the play here. We can get war reps as well, and when the truce is over, we're going to be able to, um, to attack Danzig and Poland separately if they don't ally each other which i hope they don't yeah screw it man i think that's that's gonna be it 160 ducats for me fuck it i'll take it i'll freaking take it and there you have it lads and ladies we've grown significantly in size now i'm gonna concentrate that before i core it up so it's a little bit cheaper to core up and let's get our troopers back how about you bad boys how close are you to being my closest of friends a little bit closer now i'd say a little little bit closer now that being said it is time for chilius maximus number two time to continue to fix our country essentially charleston four admin it sucks using up my admin points when especially since i need them a lot but I want to do this mission so I can seize crownlands and not have to worry about rebels. Then I can sell crownlands or titles and I can use that money to pay for a lot of barracks. I'm going to go for barracks next year. Maybe a few churches who, why not? A couple of churches never hurt no one, right? Well, that is a little bit debatable there. And of course, the rest goes into workshops as usual. Oof, it's actually not much from workshops. Maybe I will instead of a workshop. Yeah, I like to build a fortification in Dramburg actually. So that I have this area entirely protected and this is a woods so again dice roll for attacker minus one better than the poznan fort which is just dog shit it's it's basically farmlands really oh this is bad this is really really bad <laughs> shit uh didn't expect that to happen at all this is really really bad bro no please no <laughs> no <laughs> Come on, don't tell me they can fully annex them. They can. They've got no armies, do they? Nope. Why didn't I think about this happening, bro? Oh, it's finally happening. Everybody leaving the coalition. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. I can see it coming in the air tonight. We got the union with Burgundy. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, baby. 
And Neil being the Emperor is gonna come in handy and also allying them. I was hoping this would happen in the first part of the campaign, but it didn't, but still happened. Okay, so let me just save, make sure that we consolidate our PU over the Burgundians. Thank you very much. All right, awesome. So now we can do balance of power, apparent. Uh, max of salt is on plus 10% for Brandenburg Gate. I think I'm gonna wait, actually, whenever I have below 75 power projection, I'll click this button. Yeah. Also, in a very sudden twist of events, the Muscovites decided to attack the Poles and take lands from the Poles. Who would have thought that Muscovy is aggressive? Nobody, really. No, who could, no one could have predicted this. Hell yeah, Burgundy inherited a buddy. A buddy. Guess what happened? My leader just died. Luckily enough, we have an Empress Consort, so uh, we're good. We, we can still declare wars, but yeah. They seem to be a little bit disloyal, though. So let's uh, support loyalists in there and improve relations with them. Why are they so disloyal with us, though? That's weird. Backward monarch. Excuse me? What the hell did you just call me, bro? You're back. Backwards, okay? I'm frontwards. I'm gonna also exchange my 70 favors with the Danes to get up to 85 trust and then I'm gonna cancel the alliance because um, I don't really need the alliance with them. They haven't helped me out a single bit and I only used them before as uh, a means of actually... Okay, that guy is dog shit. He's actually... That is not a freaking 100 army tradition journal, okay? Frack my life. Yeah, I only kept them as a means of deterring the coalition but now we have Muscovy so we, we really don't need them actually. We chose the war with the French. Come at me, France. I'm waiting for you to declare on me. Actually, because they will declare me. Maybe I should get now some alliances. Maybe I shouldn't have canceled the Danish one. Uh, Castile. Castile is a good ally. Fuck it. We're gonna have Castile instead of Denmark. Hell yeah. Come at me now, France. Let me see you come at me, son. Son. They're too scared and pussies to come at me. I'm telling you now. I am gonna try and get my uh, dynasty on uh, on the Spanish crown. Apparently, they got Leon dynasty. They don't have Trastamar anymore. Ooh, okay. The plot has thickened, clearly. I am gonna set a couple of my uh, diplomats to uh, improve relations with outrage nations so I don't need to manually do it anymore. I did it manually because I thought I can do it better than having this set to automatic but now I'm just lazy to be honest so yeah. All right let's see what we got here. We have a 361 no sorry that's my leader. We have a 143. Oh oh yeah I think he's a very big admirer of um riding horses in uh in the forests at night with the blindfold on so I'm not sure how long he's gonna survive because that's that sport that is I mean it's an acquired taste that particular sport if you ask me all right time to get our fourth government uh, reform i'm gonna go of course for the uh, expand temple rights which offers us minus two unrest alongside 33 percent more tax from our churches and cathedrals making them actually viable now and it is time to show people our resilience of course it is of course it, I, I was thinking just that right now also can we give a big shout out to uh teutons for having attacked danzig and managing somehow to lose that well they didn't lose because they got two forts in Danzig, but I don't see the Teutons coming out on top of this. I really don't. Also, I do hope they don't get fully annexed, but I kind of feel like they will get fully annexed. I cannot enforce peace deal here, and I was so close to diplo vassalizing these bastards, and I really regret not just regularly vassalizing them because we wouldn't have this issue now, would we? Now I just have to freaking take one province from Danzig and then feed them the rest of the provinces after, or just take the full AE. It just sucks, man. I hate RNG in this game sometimes. It really is not on my side a lot of the time, sadly. We had a pretty decent start in this campaign though so i guess sometimes rng giveth rng taketh away you could say right okay what the hell man how the frack did these bastards actually manage to annex danzig like that screw you freaking teutons actually screw you bro i'm gonna have to wait for five years now but you know what fuck it i'm gonna wait for five years. oh oh hold on a second i think we might have a you know reverse card as i like to call it yep 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 all right well uh we're gonna do exactly the same thing we were trying to do with the uh, Teutons, but with dancing now. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking irony, my dude. The actual freaking irony. <laughs> and whenever someone says that Romania is uh, weak or Romanians are cowards, they don't know what they're talking about, okay? Because look at this. Moldova declared a reconquest war on Poland. Moldova, the one province minor, declared a reconquest on a nation that is quite literally 50 times bigger than them. That requires a lot of bowls, okay? That requires a frack ton of of bowls if you ask me. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna give them Condoteri. No, I cannot because I got a truce with the Poles, actually. Never mind. Uh, I cannot also vassalize them. Oh. Uh -huh. 
That sucks, but I do wish them all the best, honestly. I do. I hope they win. I really hope they... You know what? I'm gonna send them some money, actually. How does 150 ducats sound, Moldova? I hope that's gonna help you out a little bit in your struggle, sir. Court painter available. Uh, I'm not sure how we get this event. I think that's actually the first time I ever got that event. What? Okay. Volgast dry dock. Sure, can do that. Volgast, let's build a dock. We don't have money. We're actually on the minus with that. So let's go ahead and do this now. And now we can build our dock here. Look how cheap it is, guys. So we got papal sanctions for increased taxes, investment contribution, renaissance, Brandenburg traditions, and Reichsreform, making it so much freaking cheaper. It's literally half the price almost to build all the buildings. So this is the moment for us to take advantage and max out all of our buildings, you know? Man, if we vassalized the Teutons, this could have been our reconquest war against the Poles. Oh, man. Yeah, everybody's dogpiling now in Poland, and unfortunately, it's not going good. It's really not going good at all. It really sucks, actually, to be fair. Since I'm doing nothing else except waiting for my trust to go up with uh, with Danzig, I'm just going to continue to play toll and build a lot more buildings around. I actually want to get churches in every single province because of the national unrest and because of, you know, them not being complete dog shit anymore. Same goes here. Need to make sure we have barracks everywhere. We're really close to getting them as a vassal. We need just two more trust, and then we can actually diplo vassalize them. Them. Oh, we can do our second uh, reform. Awesome. Very close to the third. And then we can start adding nations to the HRE with the Expand Empire CB. Wait, did that just rhyme? I think that rhymed, didn't it? I'm a rapper again. Hello. Medieval rapping time. Ooh. Skibbity bum bum bottom. This pretty much delayed us by how many years? Like 10, 15 years? The whole Teutons becoming big again and uh, Danzig becoming our actual vassal. But hey, it happened. So we just got to be thankful for the fact that it did happen eventually, right? And now we can attack the Teutons and it seems like Hungary is not even helping them out for some reason we could potentially also call in a few of our friends here like uh, Austria Köln and so on I don't think I need to though all right we're gonna set Danzig as the main actual war target and let's Gucci von Strombucci Attackius Maximus take out their fortification destroy their lands take their women burn their uh wait no I, I forgot I'm, this is a PG-14 stream right PG-14 15 something in any case we're gonna be uh ravaging their countryside that's for sure I do pretty much expect Burgundy to take care of Mecklenburg for me and they are doing so I don't even need to give objectives but just in case let's do give objectives to Burgundy here oh I just realized I got two subjects let me get my strong duchies hell yeah no more issues with diplo relations no no we still have one okay well better than before in any case isn't it yes sir thank you very much all right let's make sure the Burgundians do take this as well thank you also and we got Plo I think we can probably take a lot of profit provinces from um from these bad boys now can't we probably can take like uh 80 or something let's see what the war score is it is 127 so they're gonna have like one or two provinces left after okay we gave back danzig to danzig so instead of doing this we're gonna do clickius and directly give yes that's gonna actually help us out a little bit right so it's 94 with 51.2 we did this it's 51.3 with 99 so because this is the word target we can take six percent more war score now because of that meaning they will stay with one province we would not have been able to take this otherwise right so that's a just big brain right there all right that is gonna be enough for me i don't care about uh, mecklenburg i'm not even gonna bother to piece him out to be honest with you let's go i love it look at that look at that now we have a border with the lithuanians another one with the muscovites so we can start to properly expand into the east like complete madmen lithuania is friendly towards me. i do have a truce with them until 95 i don't know if i'm gonna support their independence i don't think i will no i don't know i don't think so no how did poland get this can someone explain to me what the fuck happened here didn't poland just die no they destroyed moldova come on man that's not fair oh you scumbags poles 95 yeah i'm gonna wipe you out i'm actually gonna freaking destroy you poland now seeing as memil is actually a core of our vassal once the muscovites are at peace i'm gonna ask them to return my core to my vassal so i don't need to go to war with them for memil just yet i mean i'm still gonna attack but i'm just not gonna do it for memil and i'm not gonna do it now obviously well hold your horses now ottomans excuse Excuse me, bro. Hello. Hello. Can you stay away from Poland, bro? Excuse me. Uh, that's good and bad. That's good and bad because if the Ottomans take lands close to me after my war with the Poles, maybe I will be able to border the Ottomans. And then I'm 100% going to attack and push into the Ottomans because I'd want them out of Europe. And they are for sure a worthy opponent. That is a guarantee. I'm still going to attack the Poles now, though. I am still going to attack them now. Let's call in uh, the Austrians. 
and that's it. We're gonna call in just the Austrians. Anybody close to Savoy, actually? Palatinat Trier. Maybe Palatinat can help me against Savoy. Let's do that. Sedrawa is the war target, and let's go ahead and attack him. The competition is on. Who's gonna get more war score? Is it gonna be us, or is it gonna be the uh, filthy Ottomans? They're advancing pretty fast, but I think it's gonna be us. I think we're gonna get more war score. Let's see if we can take some provinces now. We could. We cannot take what we want, though. I'd like to take at least this. Sure, it might seem like a lot of aggressive expansion, but uh, shut up, bro. Okay, or maybe, maybe we'll just cancel their union. Or maybe, maybe we'll make them release shit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna go for yet. Okay, looks like we've had an unconditional surrender from Poland, which is really good. All right, now I can actually piece these guys out separately. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, now we're gonna try and see what we want from the Poles, because that's not an easy question. Really don't know what the hell I'm gonna take from them, honestly. I could give this to Austria, for example, right? That would make them a little bit smaller, I guess. But what else? That's the real question. I think I'm gonna take like this. So I basically draw the line of the areas which I wanna take in the next war. And this also prevents the Ottomans from taking anything here, right? Cause they, ca they cannot obviously core it up afterwards. And it's not too bad actually, it's 93 war score for that. We could still potentially take something else. Like, I don't know, Lida over here. Lida would be actually perfect. Or without Lida, we get fewer nations in the coalition. Maybe just this and a little bit of money, which is not gonna be too much. So let's face it, it's gonna be how much? 170, how much of that? That goes to us 112 okay yeah I, I think this is gonna be the peace deal fuck it that's gonna be a okay for me let's go boys we drew the lines for the ottomans to realize that they're not allowed to come on this side of the of the area that's our side okay get out of my face ottomans don't make me come after you bro don't make me go to war with you ottomans because i will destroy you my brother i will trust me bro i've been known to destroy auto people Okay, people that start with the letter O have been destroyed by me in the past. This is true. This is actually true. Now I was happy because I was at peace and I could trade favors for my province. And guess what? Muscovy decided they're going to be attacking Sweden now. Can you stop it, Muscovy? Be at peace, man. I need you to be peaceful so I can take my province and then cancel the alliance and attack you after. Okay, just be at peace for a second. Let's also not forget to uh, lower the autonomy in the provinces that we just finished coring up from uh, the Teutons, the ones that we took from the Teutons, that is. And we'll do the same once we fully core up the uh, Polish provinces. Well, it's official, boys. We do border the Ottoman Empire. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting claims on the Ottoman Empire because we do intend on destroying them. They are a menace to society and I'm going to dedicate this campaign to eradicating them from the European continent. That is what I'm going to do. All of this land here, this is Brandenburg land. Clearly, they have unlawfully taken our land from us, which is not going to be acceptable, okay? We're going to get our big bad boy Muscovy ally and we're going to crush the freaking Ottomans. Actually, let's see who else they're rival to. They're rival to the uh, Castilians. So we might be able to get Castile against them then. If we pay off their debt and... Well, no. Actually, they're fighting in another war. So once they finish their war against uh, Alagabalugalagadu, they're gonna join us. And how the frack did Tafilalt get so big? They were a three province minor before, right? Marrakesh was massive here. What the hell is going on in the Maghreb, bro? I got so many questions right now. <laughs> what the hell, bro? And why is the Ottomans not expanding eastwards? Why is Akko loop massive and autumn is only expanding into the european continent that's not acceptable okay we're not going to accept that we're going to push the ottomans back so that means we're going to be allied to the um, muscovites for a little bit longer than we would have anticipated oh protestant reformation religion in lorraine is now protestant and it's going to get a protestant center of center of reformation okay now the thing is we want to be protestant because we're going to switch to prussia eventually but we're not going to switch to prussia anytime soon so we're not going to go protestant uh, just yet okay we're going to say catholic for the time being. Wait, wait, they're offering to sell a province. I bet you it's the province of Memel. Let me try and get it first so I don't need to buy it from them. And now let's see what province it is. It's Memel. Now I want to see if this is bugged. So I already got the province. Is it going to take my ducats? It's not. Oh shit, the game knows. The game knows. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. They want sailors? Sure, I'll give you. No, that was soldiers, not sailors, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, it's okay, boys. All right, we're almost ready. I'm just gonna get some more units before I do declare on the Ottomans. And the Muscovites have made their peace, so that means they likely will help me out against them. I might need to wait for the Castilians, though. Muscovy is in debt, so they're not gonna help me because they're in debt. Never mind. How about Castile? Castile is still at war. No, no, they're not. They finished the war, but they just have 227 ducats in debt. So we could technically take on their debt once we've got some more money. So yeah, we'll wait for that because I, I would like to get the Castilian fleet. 
fleets to help out against the Ottoman fleets so we can pass on to the Anatolian bits afterwards easier. Actually, I just realized I can uh, call in the uh, Castilians in the war against the uh, Ottomans by doing this. I can go to favors and I can do prepare for war. There you go. And now if I go here, they will join. There you go. They have an extra 20 towards joining because of the prepare for war interaction. So that's it. All right, let's go ahead and get more units here so we can actually declare the war then. I'm going to get 26 infantry and six artillery should be fine. Get another loan. Thank you very much. Just in time, we also managed to get our soldiers upgraded. So switching this over as well is going to make a massive difference in the war to come since they don't have military tech nine just yet. Let's go ahead. I'm going to declare the war right now. Boom, shkaba da booba da boom. And that's it. Let's go Lvov as the war target. Got mit uns, as they say in German. Got mit uns, boyos. Yeah, baby. That's right. I'm taking all of this shit here. All of it. I'm taking it all. Look at that. I'm taking all of that. 94 aggressive expansion, but not so much with my fellow Catholics because these are Muslim nations we're taking schnapps from, okay? Turks, Muslims, not Catholics, not Germans, not even Europeans for that matter. So, uh, yeah, basically no aggressive expansion for taking all of this, which is really good. Might even take Buzo and then release Valachia and uh, feed him back the cores after. Let's see. Oh my gorp, even the Bahamians have attacked the Poles. But guess what, Bohemia? You can't take all of Poland. Hey, 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 I made sure of that. Oh, oh, maybe they're gonna make the Poles cancel the uh, union they have with Lithuania. That would make it so much easier for me to expand here than afterwards. All right, let's see how this particular engagement's gonna go. Probably not that great. We got 4.1, they got 4.3, they got 108 discipline, we got 100. Okay, well, that is not amazing, is it? No, it's not. We're gonna lose that, aren't we? We're definitely... No. No, we didn't. We did not lose that. They retreated, actually. That is surprising. That is actually surprising. Also, I'm going to be developing Berlin a little bit more. We want to get it up to 25 development so I can do renovate Berlin. Let us begin the renovation of Berlin, yes. And uh, we're going to get some splendor from that and a few other things. And most importantly, until the end of the game, we get yearly army tradition DK minus 1%. Meaning that us, right now, at 63 army tradition, we're getting 0 0.93 yearly DK, which is really... Really little considering. And we're gonna get even more afterwards. We will be A-O-K-K, -K, boys. A-O-K-K. -K. That's an actual word in case you're wondering. I, I didn't make it up, I swear. And there goes Great Horde's entire army. Wait, why Why is Great Horde on their side? Oh no, that's Ramazan. <laughs> Getting Crimea so fast is both amazing from uh, the fact that, you know, we got Crimea so fast, but also because we now have the trapped Ottoman army that just landed in Theodoro. Trapped because they cannot retreat. So they're gonna get stack wiped. <laughs> I'm mean, evil, evil, I tell you. They retreated in Crimea, and that means they got stack wiped. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. There you go. Another 22 bite the dust, as I like to say. And after we uh, also send some units to take care of Shirvan, we also want to piece out Akoyunlu before the Ottomans. So after we're done with Shirvan, I'm going to send the uh, Crimean sieging army as well to siege down Akoyunlu with this army here. So we uh, get half of the enemy coalition out. Well, half of the enemy side out of the war, right? I didn't even pay attention to this, and I stack wiped another Ramazani army. I feel like Ramazan doesn't have many troops left, do they? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I see what Bohemia just did. They released Mazovia as an independent nation. And Galicia Volhynia! <gasps> The second that these bastards stop guaranteeing these nations, I'm gonna go for the kill. Oh my lord. Now boys, for the tier 5 military doctrine, of course you guys know I really enjoy the amphibious specialization because it allows us to use marines, but in this case, as Brandenburg, it's actually better to go for the uh, general war commissariat because then you have the 0.5 army tradition and military tech cost reduction. So right now, at 66, we're just getting 0.5 reduction. And once we've gotten Prussia going, once we've unlocked all of our ideas and so on we're literally gonna have 100 army tradition and we're not gonna lose any so it's gonna stay at 100 army tradition for the entire campaign that's how broken it is then and let's go ahead and uh, peace out Shirvon. actually let's uh, start marching our units over to Akoyunlu before we peace him out I guess I'm sorry what cleansing of heresy uh what the fuck Bohemia when did they become Protestant dude the whole country's already Protestant are you kidding me oh my dude oh my actual freaking 
dude. And check it out, boys. Lithuania is independent, and they're also supporting the independence of the Great Horde, which is a subject of who? They are... Uh-huh. Wait, what? I don't get this. Oh, it's because I didn't let one month pass, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, my bad. Great Horde was supporting the independence of Lithuania, and Lithuania was granted its independence by Poland because it was, it was just in a situation where it could not actually maintain their hold over Lithuania. Can you guys actually stop guaranteeing these nations, please? Thank you very much, Bohemia. I'd appreciate that. Can you stupid fort fall already, please? Freaking 49% for the second time still didn't fall. Bro. Finally. All right. Now we can uh, now we can continue to advance because we're not going to peace out until we have 100% war score. I just lost like 20 war score because rebels have taken the province here in Lvov. Bro. What is up with this RNG, man? And yes, I know I should have paid attention because that was like literally 20% war score. On the other hand, we have taken this fortification. So I feel confident that we can siege down these provinces and then afterwards we can piece them out even with the white piece i'll take it honestly all right let's see if uh, this carpetica siegicum did enough for us it looks like it actually did we can even take some money from them how much is that going for us 189 hell yeah brother all right now we can use our troops against the ottomans because it's just them and uh hormuz left on that particular side i guess these guys are going to be black flagged aren't they no they're not okay then let's go to sivas in that case and <laughs> look at our little vassal swarm attempting to take provinces over here i'm so so proud of you guys they did take the brunt of the hit of the ottomans though like majority of the battles happened around vienna for some reason once again confirming my confirming my suspicions that the ottomans are hard-coded to attack vienna right to also try and uh, get our golden age going here and we are about to retake constantinople hopefully fast because uh, we just got it right after they uh, sieged it down actually so they have 100 garrison if this goes down to 99 garrison then we instantly take it so if we get a good tick here and it kills off one of their soldiers then we are actually you know what screw this man I'm not even gonna bother there you go 41 days 50 military points was super worth it for that nah -uh, ottomans not nah, freaking ah uh. i'm not gonna let you do that get out of here boys look at that the difference is much better now because we've also gotten some extra morale of armies from uh, like the papal blessings and snap so we're actually winning significantly faster now plus i'm targeting the forts primarily so i get all the war score imaginable and with the secondary army i'm essentially just destroying their economic output from uh carpet sieging the entirety of uh asia minor and and it looks like uh, Galicia Volhynia is defenseless, so we're going to be attacking them clearly to defend them. That's why we're doing the attack here. We're just trying to be nice guy, uh, Brandenburg, Helpius Maximus, uh, Unfortunatus, uh, Neighborus. Oh, that must have hurt, boys. That must have hurt. Actually, we could piece them out. I cannot go for 100%, but I can go for 96%, which is okay with me. Look at that. Basically, nobody cares about me taking these lands from the Ottomans. Oh my god, dude. Let's do it. Now, the good part about this is that uh, this offers us more expansion opportunities into the Great Horde, into Crimea, and of course... Um, no, that's it. Just Crimea and Great Horde, actually. But hey, we do have the option of releasing Bulgaria now and feeding them back all of their cores in the next war against the Ottomans, right? So there, we got that going for us. All right, let's make sure we lower our war exhaustion before we core up all of these snaps here. And Corius Maximus. Do we still have admin points? We do. Actually, this is pretty cheap considering that uh, we have uh, admin ideas now. And this is pretty low development land as it is. Oh, prospering times. Which province? Nets Netsy. Oh, shit. That's a Polish province, isn't it? Sure. Okay, that is in, uh our main node no it's in the krakow node in that case since we don't care about the trade power in that particular node we're gonna go for the military there you go since this is also livestock we get six military development meaning this is gonna be a great spot for a future soldier's household okie dokes we can do this piece deal too now let's go ahead and do that right now actually before i do anything else stop curring favors with the castilians don't need them anymore how many nations in a coalition nobody there you go nobody because again these are orthodox nations right these are orthodox right yep they are and not wait no there it's no they're orthodox are these provinces catholic no they're also orthodox oh it's because i am catholic and i'm occupying the province was wondering whatever the case nobody gives a shit about the volhynia galicia whatever the schnapps and in 1512 we can attack lithuania which allied mazovia and it's allied to the poles so in 1512 we are going to be fully annexing i'm guessing poland that is a yes for poland mazovia and not fully annexing lithuania but we're taking at least half of their provinces so we're going to be growing 
growing considerably in, in 1512. I just realized I had like a thousand freaking uh, Diplo points lying around. So I'm just going to invest all of that in my provinces, develop these provinces up and get some economy going from that. And you know what? We could actually embrace this, man. We can just take a couple of loans. I, was, I just paid off my loans, but you know, this is something that I feel like is 100% worth it. There you go. 4.61 in interest. We probably should have taken the burger loan, shouldn't we? Yeah, would have been smarter to take the burger loans for sure. Well, actually we cannot because we don't have um, the available slot for it, sadly. Holy shit, that is insane. 30 reform progress with 700 ducats, 3 emerge cannibalism, 2 inflation construction costs for 15 years, or for freaking 50 years, trade efficiency, provincial trade power, and a lot of admin points. I mean, mana points. Holy mother. We do have a fuck ton of loans now, but we will eventually pay them off, okay? Don't worry. The Duchess of Burgundy dies, and we just inherited Burgundy. Ah! I hope I uh, blew up your brains with me doing that because um, that's exactly how I feel right now. I feel like I want to blow some people's brains out, the boys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. We got all the money. Who got all the money? We, we got all the money. <laughs> That is delicious. I'm gonna change my capital over here So I just need to get 222 admin points and then we can avoid the Dutch revolt first off And we also can get a lot of money from the English Channel note as consequence from having our trade capital move here as well Look at that instantly. We went up to 34 balance despite having grown in army size by quite a little bit boys <laughs> Oh my god, and we got 15 trade ships as well, which we're gonna use in uh, the uh, English Channel note I'm gonna keep them in Lubeck for now But once we change the capital we'll switch all of our trade ships to the English Channel note So we get more of the trade power in here right now. We got 29% So let's collect here instead of the Baltic. I'd say oh shit. No, no, bro Oh my god, that's horrible Four, three. One. Wait, isn't that the exact same mana points that the other dude had what pretty sure that's the exact same mana points And you know what let's actually bring this guy in the English channel. I changed my mind. No Lubeck. We're going English channel. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. We got 29%. That means how many ducats now? Let's see. I don't know exactly how many, but we went up to 43 income. So we gained more from doing this, I guess, right? That's what matters. Okay, let's go. Attack yes. We're gonna co-belligerate Mazovia. We're gonna co-belligerate uh, Poland, and we're not calling anybody in. Muscovy is guaranteeing uh, the Lithuanians, but because they're dipshits and they have 2.5k in debt, no, they're not gonna join on Lithuania's side. I'm saying they're dipshits because they also didn't join on my side anytime I needed them so yeah they are okay shut up bro they are if I say they are they freaking are so we got a hundred and twenty thousand against twenty thousand wow this is gonna be the easiest freaking war in the history of wars okay we got two of the three Pokemons so let's annex a show for the both of them fully there you go cancel their cores on whatever they might have cores on and one for the money two for the show and how much aggressive expansion we got not too much actually can we cancel some of their cores we can cancel some of their cores that they have on us I like to do that not for any strategic reason but because i want to okay just shut up bro all right there you go they're happy now well they're not happy they're getting fully annexed but i would like to think that they're happy right <laughs> We're up everything so we get uh, more space for when we kill uh, these boyos Let's also attack uh, the Teutons because the truce is over and I just realized I haven't attacked them yet We got our mission for the estates done as well. That is a Jahusi Zdrombusi 1513 and we already have half of Eastern Europe. That is just a ridiculous man And the logical thing to do here is of course to uh, grab the lands bordering the Russians I cannot take Vilnius too, unfortunately unless maybe I do this but then we lose three provinces So I don't know man or maybe actually it's not too bad. It's fine. They can take Polokas and Ula, I guess. Yeah, there you go 100% gonna be 56 over extension So we're gonna go over a hundred if I'm not mistaken Maybe if we concentrate we lower that a little bit Can we concentrate actually we can here and that's it we can in one province Yeah, that's still gonna be a little bit of our extension. It's fine We got enough troops we can wipe out anybody that's gonna rebel against us and let's also peace out uh, these bad boys We are Shnokodons and we cannot okay. I forgot. We still have to peace out Mecklenburg I forgot I'm even at war with Mecklenburg bro. All right, now that all the peace drills have been done, we're gonna be chilling for a bit because uh, we need to wait for the truce to finish here and we need to wait for our overextension to go down to zero. That means that we have to wait for roughly two years, one year. I'm gonna, no, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna attack the Great Horde. They don't have any freaking allies. They got freaking Aquayul and Uzbek, bro. Actually, no, even better. I'm gonna attack, wait, are they guaranteed by, yeah, they're a tributary. Okay, no, I'm gonna attack the Great Horde and then I'm gonna attack Crimea at the same time that I'm attacking the Great Horde. I think that is the 
play right there. And once we're done with those wars, we're going to attack the uh, Muscovites and start munching into them. They only have 41,000 units. That is not even a challenge, my dude. Not even a challenge, even. Even, even? Yes, that makes sense. Shut up, okay? Oh, before we do anything, let's uh, change the capital here. Almost forgot to do that. And this way we avoid any sort of uh, rebellion from the Dutch because we technically are the Dutch now. Am I right, boys? Hell yeah. Wait, no, I forgot to give the privilege. I got minus three diplo reputation. Oh, I'm a, such a Pepega, man. Holy fuck, I'm such a Pepega. Well, whatever the case, now we can do this Prussian expansion. I didn't do this before because it would have given them development and it would have taken longer for me to integrate um, uh, Danzig. This way it's okay if we do it now. To get developed uh, Königsberg, we just need 30 development here. So we need to up this uh, province a few times, suffice to say. Deleted those galleys. Don't need any galleys for the time being. And I guess we might as well just give the uh, 100 uh, governing capacity here to help us out with uh, making uh, these provinces full cores as well and not have any sort of a debuff from it. With Eastern Europe under our control, it is time to set our eyes on the rest of Europe with the third and final part of this campaign if we get the like goal. And hey, don't forget to check out Ground News using my link in the description. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. I would not be able to do this without all your support.